Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click on notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist disappears like you never existed. A relationship with a narcissist is very different to a relationship with someone who is not narcissistic. Because when you're dealing with a narcissist, they can be very unpredictable. You never know what they're going to do next. So at any moment, they could disappear. And you may wonder what went wrong. You may wonder if it was something that you did. Which is why I'm here to shed some light on why they disappeared in this video. Because there are often a number of reasons why they do this. The narcissist will disappear if they feel disrespected. Which doesn't mean that you did disrespect them. It just means that they felt insulted or slighted. And when you're dealing with a non-narcissistic person, they will usually tell you what they think you did wrong. But when you're dealing with a narcissist, they won't even tell you. Because they don't want you to make it better or to make it right. They want to relish in their misery because they enjoy the chaos and dysfunction. They thrive in that type of environment. It brings them pleasure. So even if you didn't do anything wrong, they will still take the opportunity to search for evidence of something to be wrong. And you may have just given them some constructive criticism, but they will intentionally take it the wrong way, just so they have a reason to ignore you. Because that brings them more enjoyment than normal human interaction. They get bored very easily. They can lack interest in what they're doing in such a short period of time. Everything just feels dull and familiar to a narcissist. To where they will quickly become irritated and annoyed. Because they're emotionally unavailable. They're disconnected from themselves and their emotions. They may be physically present, but they're not really there. And they lack affective empathy. So they're unable to respond to your emotions because they can't feel what you feel. Which results in them having an inability to sustain emotional bonds in relationships. Which is how it's so easy for them to disappear. Because it's like they were never really there. They never actually connected with you on an emotional level. They never shared your experience because they're too absorbed in themselves and their own interests and needs. So they can't even see you. You're just a tool or an appliance. In their minds, you exist to serve them. But at some point, they get bored of what you're giving to them. Your supply is no longer as potent as it was in the beginning. And they were never emotionally connected to you anyway. So it's easy for them to ignore you. Because they were never invested in you emotionally. Their feelings and emotions are only for themselves. They use you as this external regulator to regulate their emotions. But if you're no longer reacting to them. Or you're not reacting in the way that they want you to. They may just completely ignore you as a means of regaining control. Because when they're ignoring you, it's not just because they're bored or because they've lost interest in you. They're doing it to get you to notice them and to make you want them, which is why they will suddenly act like you don't exist and they will stop speaking to you because they feel like they have lost control, which could just mean that you caught them lying or cheating on you. Or that you just don't see them in the same way that you used to. You're not as susceptible as you were before. 
So now they feel like they've got to try something else because they've already tried so many different things to regain control of you. So now they will just completely ignore you, but they won't completely cut you off. They will still leave a means of access for you to contact them because it's a manipulative tactic. It's intended to make you want them more because they assume that if they just stop talking, it will make you want to communicate with them, which is typically what happens. Because as someone who is not a narcissist, you thrive on open, honest and direct communication. You don't like to sugarcoat things. You don't want to beat around the bush, which is healthy behavior. Because communication is the foundation and structure of a healthy relationship. You're supposed to talk about things. You're supposed to communicate. So if they stop communicating with you, you're longing and yearning to communicate with them and it makes you want them. So then they're in control of the relationship. They ignore you to make you want them more. They ignore you to make you feel bad about yourself, to devalue and degrade you, to make you think you're not worth their time, energy or attention, as though you're not deserving of them at all. To make you feel like you're not worth anything and to take away your strength because all they want to do is control and punish you, especially if you try to hold them accountable because they want to devalue the source of everything that is holding them accountable. But even if you're not holding them accountable for anything, you may just be celebrating something. Maybe you accomplished something that you're proud of, you graduated, you got a new job, you started a new business, and you're doing really good in your life. And then out of nowhere, the narcissist will disappear. And they will just completely ignore you and your success because they want to devalue you. They want to pull you down to their level because they want to control you. They want to stop you from getting ahead. They want to make you think that you're not doing anything great because they just want you to hate yourself. They want you to think that you don't even deserve to live. You don't even deserve to be here on this planet as though you don't even deserve to breathe the same air as them. Because you're that despicable and detestable. You deserve all of the blame and the contempt. When really, all they want is control. Because they're very insecure about themselves. And everything they put onto you is exactly how they feel in your presence and in comparison to you. Until the point where they're completely finished with you and they're ready to discard you. But then they don't even want to give you that. And it's not because they're mindful of your feelings and emotions. It's because you're not even worth the effort for them to get rid of you. So they just want you to take yourself out. It's like that day of the week when you've got to take out the garbage. And maybe you're feeling a bit lazy and you just can't even be bothered to do it. Because it's not even worth your time. So you might just sit there and wait for someone else to take the initiative and do it. Or in the case with the narcissist, they might yell and scream until someone finally attends to it. Which is why instead of directly discarding you, they will perform a reverse discard. Which is where they will intentionally do things that will push you to walk away. Because you get tired of it. You've given up. You're done trying. Or maybe you even develop a physical or mental health condition. Where you physically can't withstand any more abuse. So your sanity is breaking down. You're losing touch with reality. By this point you don't even know which way is up. You don't know left from right. And you may have been running from your own shadow. Before you were thinking to run away from them. But it's gotten to the point where you can't do it anymore. So you're left with one choice. To discard them. Because you realise things aren't going to get any better. And as soon as you do that, they will often have this magical epiphany out of nowhere or they will try to love bomb you again. But it's not because they love you or care about you. 
It's because they can see that you're at your wit's end. You're so confused and annoyed that you don't know what to do next. You don't know which way is up. You've lost touch with your mental faculties. You're worried and desperate. You're upset and frustrated. You're exhausted by all of these problems and difficulties to the point where it's looking like they may never see you again because you're that far gone. You're almost beyond recovery. You're almost past the point of no return, the pain threshold, where you couldn't possibly take any more. The weakest, worst and most confused condition that you could possibly experience. Where you're approaching the end of your duration and usefulness. That is when they will typically pull the plug and call it a day. But even then, it's not because they care about you. It's still about control. They just fear losing you as their source of supply. Which is why this is a cycle. They will repeat again and again. It's like Groundhog's Day or the yo-yo effect. Where they're rolling you up and down. They're swinging you left and right. Like they put you on one of those twister rides on the fairground. And now you can't even stand, walk or talk. You can't even see sense. You can't even remember your own name. To the point where they have to pull you back in. Because otherwise you might walk off the edge of a cliff. You're that dazed and confused that you don't know what is going on. You've completely lost touch with regality. That is when they've got to pull you back in. Because otherwise they're going to struggle to get a reaction out of you. They're going to lose control. So they're going to give you a little taste of regality. Just to get the cogs turning again. Just to keep your mind running. So that you can continue supplying them with the energy and attention that they need. But that doesn't mean that this cycle won't repeat itself the next day or the day after that. They're going to keep pushing you to the point of no return. And the more they do it, the more skilled and manipulative they become. Almost to where they become like these masked magicians or illusionists. They know that all they've got to do is snap their fingers, touch your shoulder or wave their hand and poof, you're back in the zone. You're awake, you're aware of everything. You're able to keep giving them what they want, at least until they're ready to start the cycle all over again. And what keeps the cycle running, what fuels the cycle of behavior is their shame for the things they've done to you. So then they have to take it out on you, which is why the abuse typically escalates over time while they blame you for everything that they're doing so that they can keep getting away with what they're doing to you. But it gets to a point where they can't even stand to look at you. They don't even want to see your face anymore because your reactions to their behavior, it becomes a reminder to them of everything they've done to you. So then they really want to destroy you. They can't even look at you without wanting to punch you in the face because you're this constant reminder of the things they did and they don't want to see that. They don't want to be reminded of what they've done. But then at the same time, they need you to be their supply. So they're using you, but then they're hating and resenting you at the same time. And the more they use you, the more they just want to kill you. But they can't because they still need you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsofiber. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.